Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this unusual lacy seed beads earring. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step, row by row and step by step and uh, I'm sure that with my clear instructions you will be able to make them if you want to. Check description for useful resources like list of materials, other similar tutorials, also Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. See also my PayPal link for donations, the membership option, also link in description. And if you like what I'm showing you here, subscribe with the bell if you still haven't and like, share and comment this video. I'm so grateful if you do this and you motivate me to make more and more free tutorials. Without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 7 colors of 11 ounce seed beads. White, light pink, dark pink, red, light green, middle green and dark green. You could use different palette of colors or less colors if you want. Here I'm using earring findings that are in copper color. You could use other type of earring findings you want. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five peyote stitch videos besides the other perks. So you could definitely check it out, link in description. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Now my friends, I'm going to start my work by picking up 8 white beads. Okay, and I have here my 8 beads and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made like this and then I pull then I'm going to make one more knot like this just to be sure it's all tight and secure then in my next step I want to go through some beads in this direction just like this now I want to take five seed beads and as I'm exiting through this bead, I skip this one and go through the following. Okay, like this. And I pull. Then I'm going to pick up five more seed beads. I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I go through the following. I have this, five again, skip and go like this. Then again I need five beads and as I'm exiting through this one I skip the one that's on my way and go through the following which is the first one that I started my row from. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, I want to go through two seed beads in this direction. And I'm going to take three light pink beads and I skip the one here at the top, at the center, and I go through the following. Then I want to take five light pink beads and I go here through the second white of the five that I added in my previous row or the one that is next to these that is sticking out the most. 
Okay, here is what I have. Okay, then I take three, skip the one here and go through the following. Then again five, K okay, five, and go in the same place next to the one that is sticking out the most or next to the central of the five beads that I added in my previous step. Three, skip the central and go through the following. Five beads and go here. Three, okay, then I have five and I go here through this white one. Okay, now I will start adding my next color, which is dark pink bead. And now I go through the first of those pink beads here. Take five, skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. And also I went through the white one. Okay, now I have this. Then what I want to do is go through two beads again, through like pink beads. And this time I want to take three dark pink beads. Okay, three of them. Skip this one here at the center. And I go through the following like this. Now what I want to do is go in this direction through the pink and through the white. And I want to reach here this part where my three pink beads are. And where my three pink beads are, I want to add five dark pink beads. And skip the one that is sticking out the middle of the tree. And go in this direction through the pink and through the white. Okay. Then I repeat again here where I have five light pink beads go through two and add three dark pink beads okay and here continue with the same steps five three five three and meet me here don't worry that your work will bend a little bit you will fix it later if you worry that you can't repeat this part just rewind the video from here and repeat it until the end the same way five three five three and here i am guys where i'm adding my last three beads from this row okay now don't worry that it bends like this as I said. Now in this row we are going to fix it. Okay. All I want to do is go through those two pink beads like this. Then I go through the one that's sticking out and through the following. and go here in these three pink beads just like this then again take two here they are go in the top three pink beads two red beads go in these three pink beads two reds 
and go in these top tripping beads and until the end of this row continue adding two beads go through these three two beads go through the top three two beads go through these three and two beads and go through these three and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last two beads from this row and you see how now everything straightens up and now guys i need three red beads i skip this one that's sticking out the most and i go through the pink and through the following two red beads then i pull And here where my three pink beads are, I'm going to add five red beads and I skip these three and I go through the following two red beads. And I have this. Then I want to go through the first of these three pink beads that are on my way. And I'm going to add three red beads, skip the central pink bead and go through the pink and through the following two red beads. Five red beads, skip these two pink beads and go here. then through the pink that's after that three red beads three red beads and five red beads okay guys and in my next row i want to go through this red bead taking three green beads skipping here the top one going like this take three and go here in the one that is next to the central of the five beads that i added in my previous step okay here i have two this is the central one and here i have two more take three green beads skip the central one and go through the following three green go in the next thread three green skip the central one and go through the red and i'll show you two more times and let you do this by yourself until the end because it is absolutely the same thing and you could always rewind the video and see how i'm doing it okay i take three and I go here through this seed bead next to the central of the five beads. Three again. And continue guys with this scheme until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And in my next row, I want to go here through this green bead. And I want to add the middle green beads color. Okay, and I go here like this. Then what I want to do is reach the first of the next three light green beads. I take three dark green and I go here. Mm 
then I go in the next light green bead, three again, skip the central one of those beads, and reach the next light green. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. It's really easy and really simple. Just add three dark green beads on top of the light green beads here everywhere. Okay, continue this and meet me here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last three beads from this row. And as I'm exiting from this green bead, I skip the following one and go like this. And don't worry guys that this row is bending a little bit. We will fix it in the next step. And how we fix it. I want to go through all of those dark green beads and I want to take just one dark green bead and I go here through these three middle green beads. Another dark green. Then through all of those three, one dark green, and through the next three middle greens, and in this row, guys, I'm connecting all the middle green beads with dark green beads. It's really easy and simple. So I will do this off camera and meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am where I need to add my last seed bead, dark green bead, between the middle green beads. Okay, I'm adding it like this. You see what I have now, everything straightens up and it will get even more straight in the next steps. So now what I want to do is go through one of those dark green beads that I added in my previous row and I want to take five dark green beads and as I'm exiting through one of the dark greens I go through the other one. Then I also go through the next middle green. Okay. I have this now. Here at this middle green I need to add three dark green beads and I skip the central one and go through the next middle green and through the next dark green. Then I need five beads again and I go in the next dark green and also to save time in the next middle green. Three dark green beads, skip the central one and go through the middle green and through the dark green. And here I add five again like I did before. Then dark green, middle green. And I add three beads here guys and I'm sure if you have done this up to here you will be able to do this until the end of this row it's really simple and easy five three five three five three and meet me here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row just like this and now i want to make an additional row to make this 
edge look nicer. And how I do this? I go through two of the five beads that I added in my previous step. Then I don't go through the next one, which is the central one. And I go through the next two beads. So when I pull, I have this beautiful angle. Then what I do is that I go through the next three seed beads. Here I don't think I need to make an angle, they are arranged in an angle already. So I'm just going through them. And my goal is to make another angle here where the five beads are. So I go through two beads. Skip the next one that is on my way. And go through the following beads. Aiming for the angle. When I pull, there is an angle formed. If it doesn't want to form, just help it by pulling the bead a little bit. Okay, then here I just go through all of those beads. And again, I go through two beads, skip the one that's on my way and aim for the angle. Pull and form an angle here. Okay, and now I will continue this and I'll meet you here at this side. Okay, guys, and as I continued making more and more angles, here I am, I just did my last angle and I'm here at this point where I have three dark green beads and I want to go here through the top one of those dark green beads because here is where I'm going to attach my earring finding. Okay, and I want to take a white, a dark pink and a red. I will slide those down. Now then I'm this. taking my earring finding. I put it here. And I take three more seed beads. And I go back in circle through this green one here. And I pull. Then what I want to do is reinforce this joint here. now guys I'm going to make a knot here and cut my thread in order to make my knot I go through some beads in this direction and I help myself with my pliers okay then here what I want to do is make a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. And now guys my unusual lacy seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and you help me so much by liking sharing and commenting this video in this way you make me do more and more tutorials especially for you. 
Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, links to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them and share them on my community tab on YouTube. And down there you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now, besides the other perks, is a course of five Peyote Stitch videos. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support so much. Bye bye from me.